We're going to solve this system of equations, three equations, three unknowns, using that triangular form technique. Uh, and I'm just going to basically go through these rules and, and try to make it as systematic as possible. Pardon the pun. I have rewritten these equations here. And what I'm first going to do is I'm wanting, remember the triangular form means that I'm going to have a blank area in this tri lower left triangle. I'm going to first compare equations one and three. And I'm just going to add them together because when I add one and three, this x and this minus x wipe out. So I do that and I get x minus x is zero x. 2y plus 3y is 5y. Minus 2z plus z is minus z. Minus 1 plus 8 is 7. So over here, I'm just going to, it's maybe a little extra writing, but I just want to make sure I keep my bookkeeping straight. I'm going to write the first equation again, x plus 2y minus 2z equals minus 1. Now I'm going to write to this equation here, 5y minus z is equal to 7. So I'm almost there. All I need to do is get z equals something here, and I've got it. So I'm going to now, over here with this worksheet, I'm going to take Let's take equation two, and I'm going to add twice equation three. Remember, that's in my rules. I can add equations together, and I can take multiples of equations and add them. And that's what I'm going to, I'm going to take two, and then I'm going to add negative two x. I'm going to take minus y and add six y. I'm going to take z and add 2z. I'm going to take 3 and add 2 times 8. So 2x plus negative 2x gives me a 0x, which is what I want. Uh, minus y plus 6y gives me a 5y. z plus 2z gives me a 3z. And 3 plus 2 times 8 gives me 19. Now I can take these two equations. I can take this first one. Let's get rid of these numbers now. I can take this. This is my equation number 1, and this is my new equation 1 and my new equation 2. I'm going to take 1 minus 2 because 5y minus 5y will give me the 0y that I want. So that becomes 0x minus 0x is still 0x. 5y minus 5y is 0y. Minus z minus 3z gives me a minus 4z. And 7 minus 19 gives me a negative 12. From that, I can decide, well, okay, if it's true that minus 4z equals minus 12, divide both sides by minus 4, and I get z is equal to 3. And I'm going to write that now in here. I'm going to erase all of this. And you can see that I now have this triangle that I wanted. Now I can take z equals 3 and plug that into, let's use a different color now. I can plug that into here. So that 5z, or I'm sorry, 5y minus 3 is equal to 7. Add 3 to both sides, and I get 5y equals 10, y equals 2.
So I've got z is 3, y is 2, and now I can take both of these and put them in here. So I'm going to put 2 right there and 3 right there. And I'm going to say then that x, to solve finally for x, x plus 2 times 2 minus 2 times 3 equals minus 1. That means that x plus 4 minus 6 equals minus 1. I'm going to subtract 4, add 6, subtract 4, add 6, and I get x equals 1. So my solution then is 1, 2, 3. x is 1, y is 2, z is 3. And you can plug those numbers into this in any, uh, any one of these equations. These three numbers will work.